You're about to watch me commit suicide and do a review of the 7870 graphics card, so enjoy! Okay, so number one question on our agenda today is, is the graphics card still actually working fine? The answer to that question is a big yes. Graphics card's still performing just as well as it did when I first got it out, that fresh looking sexual packet uh, around Christmas time early last year. Late last year. Ignore my, like, simpleness. So, yes, it's doing very, very goddamn well. Like, I can play any game I want to on ultra settings, even checking it out with uh, softwares, the reviews, anything you want to look at, the review of the 7870, especially the overclocked edition which is mine, is very very good and it will play anything and even next gen games I have no worries about it doing well. Uh, to be honest with you, this graphics card is probably one of the best out there on the market for the price that you can pay, around £150 in UK money. So let's get into some of the actual graphics cards. Uh, specifications and uh, the reasons why it is so good on my system. Okay, so that was some of the things about the graphics card itself, but when it comes to actually me playing it, which is the best advice I can give you guys, is for £150 to £160, this graphics card, for me personally, is probably one of the best out there on the market. The AMD Radeon 7870 original is very good, but this with its dual fans stays cool at nice temperatures, even during the summer with hot, hot air coming through the window right beside my PC. And uh, it does pretty well to play any game on any settings that you could want. Obviously, I don't know how it's going to hold up with next generation, but I think it's going to go pretty well. Now, a quick addition to this as well, uh, you know, during this review here, um, I'll just round up the graphics card, and I'll tell you what my plans are for my PC in uh, particular over these last, I'm sorry, next uh, few weeks. So for this graphics card, it's easy for me to say that I'll give it at least a 9 out of 10, if not a 9.5. It's not a perfect graphics card, it's not the highest end graphics card, but for the money, it's definitely worth your time and effort to go uh, put it in your system and rock out on any game that you want to play for a decent price as well. So on to explaining about my new PC build. I'm swapping from Intel over to AMD. Now you might think, what are you doing? Don't do that if you're a gamer. Well, I'm just experimenting, bear with me. I can always change back, it's my option, and I can always change back if it doesn't turn out to be the best thing ever. But I know that I'm getting some really high quality components, very nice system build, and uh, I'm trying to future proof and trying to think tactically about this. With the AMD now signing on board with some of the console technology, a lot of the games along with the graphics cards that come with AMD are going to be optimised to play at the best settings for the best games. That's just how it is. Usually the PC games are just ports of console manufactured games. Um, so that in mind, it makes sense now to swap over to AMD and see what kind of a performance boost it gives me. Now I'm not saying it is going to, and if it doesn't turn out to, and all that stuff, then that's absolutely fine with me. But either way, I'm going to do the swap, see how things go, and I'll probably uh, do a build video for you guys next week or the week after when I get all the parts together ready to do it. Um, but until then, all you PC enthusiasts, um, I will be back with some more reviews and software tips uh, once a week or twice a week, depending on if I can get around to it. And um, for you people who just generally watch my videos day in day out, I say thank you very much. And uh, I'll be back at a later date with uh, some SimCity and some other gameplay as well. 
and some other commentaries and uh, group play for you guys as well to keep you guys entertained during this long, boring and dull holiday, I'm sure. So, I'll see you guys in a bit.